So I want to make a video about the combat swimming stroke, which the Navy SEALs use to maintain less visibility when surface swimming. And this is a very relaxing and efficient swimming stroke that makes swimming fun to do. I think all the other strokes, like the ones that are most commonly used, such as freestyle and, the, and, uh, and front crawl, aren't really that fun. So uh, this technique I want to talk about also more advanced, in a more advanced fashion, the, uh, the how your head comes into swimming. And I realized that the, the pro swimmers, when they get a push off the wall, the push you get a lot of power so you can afford to push your head down and your head is a lot more buoyant than your legs which are a lot of dense bone so your head always wants to float up so when you're pushing your head you're going head first into the water you're actually fighting buoyancy which you can't really do as much with your legs so when you're doing the combat side swimming stroke on an advanced level um, you're you th I was thinking that I'm gonna scissor kick and angle down as if I'm pushing off the wall which when you're pushing off the wall angling down is good because you get as far as you can with depth and then just like sailing you're kind of like um, you know slowly coming back up and using your head buoyancy to pull you along that that diagonal which actually is giving you some forward movement for free and that's the whole thing of what I'm trying to convey right now is you get forward movement for free when you're on a diagonal up with your head your head's pulling you up but you're pushing against the water because you're you're traveling on a diagonal so um what i've been doing is is uh letting my feet as i come up for the scissor kick i'm using my second hand pull to kind of to kind of go between my feet and my feet you want your feet to pull you down and then you you kind of you kind of jerk your head with your neck at the last second down into a parallel position and that way you are uh you're, you're not fighting to keep your head lower than your feet that's not something you want to do but as you sink down you're scissor kicking with the buoyancy force so your scissor kick doesn't give you all that much force even though it's strong so it's adding and compounding with the buoyancy of your head to put you up along that path and that's going to make you a lot faster and it's basically free motion it's a lot like sailing when you're tacking into the wind it's the same principle of of using you know the x and y of a force and um and you're really only interested in the one but uh you kind of get a little free movement by by going in a certain direction so as you scissor kick with your 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 parallel but with your head is a bit above and you can kind of bring your head down into parallel at the last second by jerking it with your neck and that will fight the water very quickly rather than trying to have your feet up high and trying to scissor kick down into the water that's not working for me so i realized that the buoyancy of the head is the is the biggest thing in swimming that gets you a lot of free movement that's why the, the kick is so efficient and that's what you have to realize to master the combat swimming stroke. So, live from Montreal. Um, to talk about swimming and how it's way more fun when you're doing it right, uh, that's it.